Do you want to learn how to make your own DIY welcome sign? We'll show you how we did ours for $5. Okay, so I saw this cute little welcome sign after doing some Pinterest searching for the front porch. So we picked up these two fence pickets for $1.72 each. Is that how much they were? $1.72. And we've grabbed one of these fence pickets. It's like for, $1.30. Yes, because it's real thin. It's probably half an inch, quarter yeah, of an inch. Half inch. So we cut those to length at 11 inches. And all we're gonna do now is glue and tack them on six inches from the bottom and seven and a half inches from the top and add a coat of stain. Almost done. <laughs> that was step one, pretty simple. Now all we have to do is step two, stain it. Stain it. So the good thing about these fence pickets is that they're already pressure treated, so they're meant to be outdoors. So you can leave it on your front porch and shouldn't have anything to worry about. We'll give it about five minutes and wipe it down. Okay, now we'll just wipe it down. All right, now we just need to give it about an hour to dry and we'll add the stencil. All right, stain's all dry. Time to add some stuff and things to it. <laughs> stuff and things. So I just need this to go around the top once. Probably about right there. Maybe we'll add a little... Uh, Chevron. Is that what you would call it? Like Tail. that? A little trick yeah. there. Fold it, cut it. Makes it perfect. Now grab a little piece of... String? Uh-huh. Push it and tie it. Might need a little longer piece because you're going to make a bow. Yeah, looks good. Next step is to add, we're going to twist this around the bottom. Can you see it? So for this one, I just want to... Wrap it a couple of times? Yes. I got that one for All right, make sure it's nice and snug. No, I don't want it even. I want them to crisscross a little bit. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> thanks for the new thanks. So OCD in me. <laughs> Ooh, guess and that's that it. That. You get you get more? Nope. Yeah, I do. That's okay. I think we can go with that. Oh, okay. Good idea. Tie a little knot. Tie a little knot for me. Oh, and nail the knot down. All, All right. right. And we got some good. string. Right. Now. The lettering. Yes. We're going to put our stencil on. We're just dabbing it again. Back to the dab. W. W. Welcome. Okay, now I have them centered, so we should be able to... Just center the sheet? Yes, just center the sheet. Okay, let me see. Does everything look centered? Well, as we dab it, we'll make sure it's centered. So normally we use a vinyl stencil, but we thought we would try and use this paper stencil this time. Oh, he popped yours up immediately. 
Oh yeah, I didn't want it to bump. Oh, looks good, babe. Mmm, looking good. The M got away. Oh, M got away. Let's see if we can get it with a dry rag first. There you go. What stand do we use for this? We use the Briar Smoke. Just a tiny bit. Yeah. And I put my palm in the O. Well done. <laughs> Time for the montage. She is upside down. <laughs> we'll fix it. We'll just put it right side up and put it back on. We'll see. Looks good. It works. All right, we got a lot of big projects coming up next month. We had a kid just move out, so it's a room makeover for the littlest one. She gets a big room and a big bed. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. <They're> cool. <laughs> Do you like to do it yourself? Build it yourself? Make it yourself? So do we. So if you want to see more projects and you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And remember to hit that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. Before you go, check out one of these other videos over here, over on this side. Here's the subscribe button. Other videos to watch. <laughs> subscribe button.